the thermometer which measures the body temperature is known as clinical thermometer. Okay, so when you have a fever, your parents use this clinical thermometer or the doctor in the hospital uses this clinical thermometer. Is it visible? It is inside a plastic box. Okay, so do, if, even if you have it at your home, please don't handle it by yourself because inside it, there is, if you have and if your parents, one of your parents is free, you can ask them to show. Otherwise, you can see it later. So, it is made up of a glass tube. Okay, it is made up of a glass tube in which some markings are there. Markings are there. Are you able to see the markings? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma and for us to measure the th temperature, okay, when we measure the, inside there is a mercury ball. Okay, liquid mercury is there. So when we measure, so that mercury level will change. So before we measure the temperature, we have to always clean it with antiseptic. Okay, and then we have to measure. Okay, so when we measure, the mercury ball will move accordingly. So there are two scales given here. One is, if you see, one is in 90s and one is in 35, 37 like that. Okay, one is starting from 95 in one end and ending till 108 if you see. And another one is starting from 35 and ending in 42. Okay, uh, in this camera it will not be very clear but if you have it at your home, you can see the marking. One, uh, at one side the reading starts from 35 and ends at 42, 45 sorry. And in another end the reading starts from 95 and ends at 108. So when we measure the temperature, what happens? The mercury will move and will we have to keep keep it under the arm or under the tongue for two minutes. Yes or no? You must have seen your mummy or your the nurse checking the time. So after two minutes, the temperature would be measured. So when you are measuring, okay, and when you are seeing checking the temperature, it should be. You should not keep the temp thermometer like this when you are reading. You should not keep it like this when you are reading. But it should be like this, horizontally and in front of your eye. Okay. So the correct positioning while taking the reading is correct. Now, usually in India, we will measure the temperature in Celsius. Okay. The accepted temperature is in Celsius. We see it in Celsius. The, our body temperature varies from, okay, it is normal body temperature is 37, okay. So it varies from 35 to 42 degree. It cannot go below 35 degree and it cannot raise above 42 degree. So this degree Celsius, okay, I'm talking about in Celsius scale. So this thermometer readings are from 35 to 42, okay. And what is what about this 95 to 108? There is another unit to measure the temperature called Fahrenheit. Like for measuring the length, you have both uh, meter scale and centimeter. Okay, there are different scales, isn't it? You use different units, meter, centimeter, millimeters, isn't it? So similarly, for measuring the temperature, one scale is degree Celsius, another one is Fahrenheit. So when we measure, so 37 degree means normal body temperature degree Celsius. Okay. What about in Fahrenheit? What is the normal temperature, body temperature in Fahrenheit? Any idea? 98.6. Okay. 98.6. Okay. So that is the normal body temperature in Fahrenheit scale. So some countries use Fahrenheit scale, some countries use degree Celsius. So this is a clinical thermometer. Now using this clinical thermometer, can I measure the hotness of a water? Yes. Never use clinical thermometer to measure the hotness of an object. It is only used to measure the body temperature. Understood? And we should handle it very carefully because if it gets hit with the object or if it falls down, it will break and mercury will spill. Mercury is very poisonous. Okay? Even so, it should be handled very carefully and it is very re reactive also. So, it should be handled very carefully. So, if you want to, if you have it at home and you want to see, you will not pick it up by yourself. You will ask your parents to show. 
the readings and the mercury inside okay okay children is this clear yes ma'am yes ma'am and when you are reading whenever, whenever we are reading the thermometer the thermometer should be we should never hold it from the silver bulb okay this, this we should never hold it here we should always hold it here and it should be the position should be correct it should be horizontally in front of our eyes so these things you have to take care when you are reading a thermometer is this clear you understood what is a clinical thermometer yes madam if you use if you use clinical thermometer to measure the hotness of water or anything because water can uh, water uh, can we can heat water up to 100 degrees celsius but what is the range it can measure up to only 42 degrees or 45 degrees celsius so if we put in water which is at 60 degree the thermometer will break understood so you should never use clinical thermometer for measuring the hotness of any object you should only use it to measure the body temperature is it clear so what is the other one so how will we i measure the hotness of an object I will use a laboratory thermometer. Laboratory thermometer. Laboratory thermometer. Now, what is a laboratory thermometer? Laboratory thermometer is comparatively longer than the clinical thermometer, and it has wider range of uh, temperature. Okay, it can measure from 10 degree, okay, to 110 degree Celsius. So here are the readings. hope you are able to see it can yes, measure from minus yes. 10 degree celsius it can measure from minus 10 degree celsius you see minus 10 0 10 okay and it can measure up to 110 degree celsius so this is 100 and then afterwards 10 okay now i should have shown you in the clinical thermometer itself but because it was very small i could not show so how many divisions are there if can anyone read the division number of lines between minus 10 and 0 sir yes madam i can i can yes we read precious we read madam first it is minus 10 hmm. then 0 no no yes 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 we stop beta i'm not asking the numbers between 10 and 0 there are divisions there are divisions like in your scale there are divisions small lines yes. are made some lines are made apurva yes, hari yes madam yes ma'am yes ma'am ha uh, can you count the number of lines between 12 10 so what does this mean what does it mean that each division is 1 degree celsius whereas in case of clinical thermometer again when we read i try to show you how many so these divisions are very important when we are measuring okay these divisions are very important so is anybody able to read the readings no you see again this will in here also the numbers are i'll read 35 then 36 then 37 then 38 39 40 it is continuously going and between each there are 10 divisions okay so what does it mean one tenth of one temperature so one division is 0.1 so if suppose mercury is after 36 after 37 if it is at 6th uh, line what does it mean the temperature is 37 point celsius understood so here but here if it is after 50 after 50 yeah here, here after 50 if it is at 5 So, what is the temperature at the fifth division? Fifty-five. So, these divisions, these divisions are very important when you are measuring. So, you must be aware of these things because you are using scale for a long time. The same principle applies. Understood? Again, so now this laboratory thermometer. In this one, we have from minus ten to uh, minus uh, sorry minus ten to hundred and ten degrees Celsius. But I have another laboratory thermometer. Okay, here you will not be able to see the readings because it's very small. Okay, I hope to show you. Okay, so here it is up to three hundred. It is 
360 degree Celsius it can from 0 degree to 300 degree Celsius it can measure okay so here is the reading uh, wait so 200 if you are able to see somewhere because you see in the middle that is the 200 can you see yes, madam. And yes, similarly, madam. that is the 300 also 300 also if you can see you see it is very small and light so it can measure this thermometer so there is wide range of laboratory thermometers because in laboratory we are going to use different temperature and even one degree change in the temperature will give a different reaction so laboratory thermometer are used can i use this to measure my body temperature no ma'am no ma'am no. no. because the range is very wide it will not give us accurate uh, body temperature so laboratory thermometer should be used only to measure the hotness of an object but not to measure the body temperature whereas Clinical, with the help of clinical thermometer, we can use, we have to use it to measure the hotness. Now, I'll show you, I'll show you how we are going to measure. So, here I'm having beaker, okay? So, and there are two beakers. In one, we, are you able to see the beakers, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'll take that water. Okay, in one beaker, I will take tap water. I have taken a tap water. So now I am putting this thermometer. Okay, whenever I am, I should never touch this end. Okay, here in the laboratory thermometer, it is written. Okay, it is colored. Okay, I should never touch it. When I dip, I have to keep it. This whole bulb part should be dipped in the water. Okay, and I should keep it. Immersed in the water from all the sides and keep it upright. I should keep it upright. I should not tilt it. I, I should not keep it like this. Tilting, okay. Or horizontally, no. It should be upright. It should be straight. So I have to keep it straight for some time. And then I have to see. When I keep, keep it like this. Now wait, wait a minute children. This mercury is moving very nicely. Able to see the mercury, see the red color is moving up. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma you see the yes, red line, it is moving yes, up. Ma'am, okay. ma what I will show you one, see now. See here, it is moved here till here. Till my finger, it is moved. You see, yes, ma'am. Yes, isn't it? Are you able to see? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Normal tap water. Okay, now what I'll do? I will bring it to normal point. I'll just bring it down. Okay, now I'll put some hot water in this. I have brought the mercury down and I'm dipping it. I am dipping it, see the mercury is raising here, here. Now, if I keep it down a bit, you are not able to see. Now it is visible. Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Yes, ma I will show you here. Now the mercury level has risen up to 50 degree. As soon as I take it out, as soon as I take it out, it is going up to 40. It is now at 40. And when I put it, dip it here, and it is surrounded by hot water, the temperature raises to 50. Okay, I'll show you with the tea also, if possible. Wait a minute. So it is now risen up to 45 because the water is getting cooler when I keep it here. Understood? It is reaching slowly to 48. Now see. But as soon as I bring it, take it out from the water, it goes back to 40. But it is still slowly moving. See now slowly, did you see the line moving down? Yes, yes ma'am. Let's yes, try with the tea, okay? So I am putting some hot tea in the beaker.
ओके तो माई रीडिंग इज एट थर्टी ओके इट इज द रूम टेम्परेचर सो नाउ आई एम डिपिंग इट इन दी एंड सी द and i've kept it upright so my tea is i'll show you the temperature of the tea it is 62 like it is 62 wait i'll take it out it is actually more than 62 it is 64 it is going i'll take a photo and i'll post it in the up gc okay ma'am now it has already reached its temperature wait a minute i will just a minute children the count is 30 degree okay i'm putting it in the water just a minute let's start my video also so okay this at 30 30 degree so what it is so it is coming down okay so water is cooler it is now at 28 okay 28 degree now madam will take out this thermometer from water and put it in the hot tea she'll wipe it with the tissue and she'll put it in the hot tea so so you can see the level of mercury rising it is rising slowly 50 degree okay slowly rising and it has reached around 55 degree okay it is moving up it is moving up it is near it is near it is moving up it is more 51 or 52 okay outside it has become cooler when i take it out man please take it and when i take it out when i take it out it will come down down it is slowly coming down so when it comes down there is a it, the image gets blurred now it has reached 35 slowly if i keep it it will come to room temperature so this videos both the videos i will send it to you thank you madam say thank you to mom also